Hello there, iPhone hackers. So, first I'd like to say Merry Christmas. I know I'm late, but I didn't make a video. I was planning on it, but I didn't. So I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, and I hope you had a ha or I hope you had a good one, and I hope you have a Happy New Year. Now, this video is because I was messing with Cydia, and I installed something, and all of a sudden Cydia stopped working. It said, uh, device is not ready or something. The device is not configured. Now, I looked on um, Cyrix. I'm not sure if I said that right. Twitter and I saw a lot of people were saying that they're having errors. So I discovered it wasn't just me who was having that problem with Cydia. There was actually a problem with one of the sources that um, had an invalid package. Now I'm going to show you how to fix that problem and um, that way your Cydia will work again. This is if you're, uh, if when you open Cydia it automatically just closes or it, cr or it uh, shows you an error. So if, the, if you're getting an error or if it just closes, follow these steps and it should work for you. If it doesn't, you can either leave me a comment or you can go to the iPhone help um, form that I set up, which is at netcester.com slash form. It'll be down here somewhere. There'll be a link. Um, so hopefully this works for you. Just follow the steps and um, see you later. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this in Windows. I'm not sure if there's a version for Macintosh, but I think there is. So if you're using Windows, and if you've used the Ponage tool to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch, you can do this. Um, if you've used Black Rain and Black Snow, then you're going to have to install a separate package which allows you to use tools like iPhone Browser. And you can search for that on Google or something and I'll actually include a link in the description. And if you want to download this program, you can get the link in the description. The program is iPhone Browser. Now you're going to need the newest version to do this. So, what you want to do is go to, first go to um, the folder Private, then go to Var, then go to Lib, APT, and Lists. Now you're going to want to delete all of these files and then your uh, Cydia should work fine. But before you delete them, you want to go to Edit, Options, No Automatic Backup. It'll be unchecked for you, but it's checked for me because I just tried this to make sure it worked. So you're going to want to check that so there's no automatic backup. You're going to want to select all those files, right-click, and delete file. Just hit Yes, just keep hitting Yes, and it'll delete all the files, and then your Cydia should work fine. Like I said, if you need more help, make sure to go to netcester.com slash form, and that you can get help from the community and from me, and uh, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, rate it five stars, favorite it, um, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more iPhone hacking videos and more.